Hi, welcome back guys. So today is the classroom setup day three. Right now I'm gonna start moving around stuff and um, just putting stuff in place and seeing which bins fit where in the shelves so that I know which where I can put some of the bins and where I need to put the other bins. And just to determine what supplies I have because um, I'm not sure if I have enough or if I need more or if I need more to go find more books or stuff like that. So I'm just going to um, move around some stuff and then place it where it needs to be. And hopefully I'll get some bulletin boards up. I'm not sure if I will today. Um, it's usually a two person thing, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, make sure to like and subscribe at Learning Loop, Intentional and Purposeful. Thank you. Bye. Hi friends, I decided to show you a, a find that I found a while back. It was, um, it's called Grab and Go Brain Breaks. And um, they come two circles and then popsicle sticks with some glue dots to glue them down together. Um, I, I'm, I find these really cute and fun and interactive during times when you need to get your kids back um, or they're too rowdy or too wiggly. And so I saw the super quiet tiptoe and I saw the one that says walk like a chicken. Oh, and I like the one that said fist pump, three friends. And then it said over here, um, switch seats with, with a friend. And so I thought these were cute. I think they came pre-cut already, so that was a nice find. I got it, um, it's 121 pieces, grab, support, and, um, and uh, I got it on Amazon, and I've seen them on Amazon again. Um, and then I wanted to talk about these markers, and I found these markers at Ross, and you see how jumbo they are? Um, right here. They're called Jumbo Markers, 16 pieces. A kid made modern. Um, a two ninety nine. The reason I got them was because I wanted to use them as um, as a, an alternative to um, anchor chart markers. And I was looking at them, and they have really beautiful um, colors, and they look very sturdy. And I'm gonna try them out this year and see um, if I like them or not. And I'll, I guess I'll give a review later uh, at when school starts and stuff. I'll write, I'll write out one. I'll, I'll give you a preview of one, just a sec. Um, okay. Just a sec. Okay, let's try that again. Learning. It looks good. It feels good. It's kind of tiny, so it's not that heavy in your hand. Learning the hoop. Intentional. And purposeful. And it's not. Oops, I ran out of space. Oops, and I'm writing with one hand. Uh, Okay, there. Let me see if I can fix it real quick. <laughs> Anyways, it didn't dry out, so that is a promising marker. I would recommend it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna pop. Hi guys, so now I wanted to talk about this learning resource item that I found. It's, um, I don't have the original box right now, but I know it's um, bucket fillers and bu bucket dippers. Um, it's called something else possibly, but on these, these are so cute. Look at these. Okay. This one says not following the, the rules. That's a cloud interrupting. And then look at this lightning, not listening. Let's look at this range of fighting. I, I'm, I'm just like, this is the cutest. And I don't know, just an, being a bully. I mean, yeah, that's not. Some, I mean, like when kids see it up front, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, that is 
That's true. It, it hurts people. And I mean, maybe they'll be more conscious of how they're making people feel. But look at this one. This one is the, the uh, fillers. And this one has sun for sharing, using inside voice. And then, um, oh, the heart one. And um, using good manners. I mean, I can see many ways of using this. I mean, I could use it one day. I mean, I know I'm gonna use it in the beginning of the year using kind words to explain bucket fillers and bucket dippers to my kids so, so we can go over some of our promises for the school year, being kind. Um, and then I know that I'm going to use these possibly throughout the year to re re remind them taking turns. I mean, you could also even like pull one out and just say, okay, so I've saw someone being respectful. And then you can use like a Sharpie and, a, or, um, a visa, visa, um, um, the visa, visa, um, dry erase with wet wet dry erase and write their name on there and then put it in a bucket and then in the day um um pull out a you know pull out some just pull one out and say oh, okay so let's let or like go over all of them even like say oh, okay uh acting responsibility um let's congratulate um Johnny for being acting responsible responsible today yay and then we can do some cheers and then say okay following rules oh emma she was following rules today let's congratulate her i mean there's so much stuff you can do with these um these you know we're not going to put anybody's name on there or anything but i mean this was a good example to look at during um the beginning of the year you could always put it inside the safe place so that kids can just like reflect and look at them um you can, and then always go over them. It's not something to like highlight, but it's something to, to think about, talk about. You could even have a day like, oh, okay, let's see. Let's, let's talk about um, not following the rules. What are some examples? Or did you see some examples today? Don't name names, you know, or something like that, or, you know, and, and model like, okay, um, interrupting. I was trying to read a book today and I read aloud and I had a lot of interrupting chickens today. Um, and then you could write on the back of it. Oh, you could even write on there and say, oh, it made me feel upset, you know? And then, and then put it in there. And then at the end of the day, pull them out and say, okay, I remember being interrupted or, or the class was being interrupted and um, it made us sad or not listening, it made us, um, scared or upset or mad and so I mean there's so many ways to use this um, I I'm not promoting these I'm just giving some suggestions of how to use these and how I'm gonna use them this year and I mean it is a fun interactive very informative and positive um, way to discuss feelings and how to act in school and my second graders, but I think my second graders will love this. So I'm excited to use these. I am so glad that I that I won this in a raffle, um, um, a PD that I went to. So thank you. Hey guys, I just finished washing the top one, and then I finished washing this top one on a chair. I got down, and so now I'm gonna start recording me, uh, re recording me finishing up this um, cabinet wash, dusting it and stuff. Um, I guess the reason I put you on was because I, I kind of want to discuss something that I noticed um, when I was moving stuff around and cleaning. I didn't get a lot from this classroom. <laughs> no, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. But what I'm noticing is um, that I had 
past teachers centers reading a to z bitch marks miscellaneous forms basically you know just uh, behavior parent chart weather graph and you know just birthdays just like a, a all me to know binder i got one, two, three, four, five. Five of these books. The way, uh, what are they? Phonics. <sighs> Fun with phonics books. I got a magazine that was torn. A little magazine. I got a document holder that has two of them. I love these, so that's awesome. I got the social studies. textbook Alexander the Great the terrible horrible no good very bad day the cat in the hat no wonder discover new things in 2017 and of course sinners a box of cut paper this clipboard one clipboard two three four somebody called miss <sighs> never mind anyways Seven, I think. Wait, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, five. Five plus the mini. Um, of course, if you remember the video, the first few videos, Christmas lights, two of them. They work, so I kept them. When I saw this the first time, it said wipe whiteboards and I was like yeah no no whiteboards um I oops sorry I'm too close to it I did get some two good shelves a filing cabinet a storage a second one of these the black one I found the black bookcase in another room that was broken and they're gonna give it away and I found that green till bookshelf um, that was in here that I'm gonna take home and paint I think it's gonna be like a brown blue I mean a black blue and oh and I found thinking maps for uh, professional development and Pretty much everything else is mine. Uh, I bought, I found a uh, suede hand sanitizers and docu camera and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. I better keep track of what I buy, or I might go a little overboard. So. Yeah, I'm gonna budget, make sure that I'm um, not saying, oh, I need that and my kids need it and then go buy it and then realize, oh my goodness, I didn't have the money for it or, oh my goodness, um, maybe I should have waited or done something different. Um, I'm gonna work with what I got. I don't have math manipulatives. I don't have reading. I found some whisper phones. I think I found four of them, so that that would work. I don't have um, reading materials. Stuff the reading stuff and the math that I'm gonna have is stuff that I had won in the raffles or found or bought in um, a few years back and school supplies that my grandmother helped me collect and 
pretty much um, some men I'm fine so they're fine and I get lost because they're, they're it's usually cheap or something like that and then so yeah if I didn't if I was a new teacher first year I would have nothing really because most of the stuff is stuff I had gone from my past three years is teaching um, Head Start and I and most of this, my stuff is for Head Start um, pre-k or preschool or kindergarten I mean they're dress up plays they're um, baby toys um, you know toddlers toys and so I can't even bring that up here because it's for second grade. This is second grade. So, hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be creative. I'm gonna sit right here. Uh, oh, well, you can't really see me. So, <laughs> oh, this is a shirt that I got from Teacher Crate. My students are out of the world. I love it. It's cute, isn't it? Anyways, I'm gonna be creative. I know how to make Play-Doh, so I'm gonna make Play-Doh. I have a few Play-Dohs right now, and I buy play. I have bought Play-Doh for um, uh, cheap Play-Doh and stuff. So the cheap Play-Doh I'll use for um, uh, reading, counting, um, you know, word mapping, word tapping. There's some awesome materials. From, um, from a lot of teacher pay teachers, but uh, I'm using um, um, Dropping My Knowledge with Heidi, and she has a tap. Um, tap it, cover it, um, worksheet centers. Um, I know there's a lot of poppets, and I do have poppets, so luckily we're bringing the sensory because I have sensory stuff, so I can bring puppets for counting um, and math and addition and subtraction and um, reading and tapping and sounding each word out or each diagraph um, or blend. Um, I actually, and I put it on my wish list some squishies because, um, and I, I put stuff on my wish list so that I remember what I want to buy or or remember my ideas because um, because if I put it on my car, a card or save later or, or I just totally forget or it gets deleted or something so it's in my wish list and so um, I put those squish squishy mallows and um, well they're mochi mochi squishy pillows and I'm thinking we can use them as counters to have um, subtraction and addition and um and then we could squish them like poppets and i thought that would be really cute um yeah i i noticed that there's a big box of um what are those things called not the snap cubes not the linking cubes but the unifix cubes yeah the unifix cubes so i'm gonna go get a big box of Unifix cubes because they had like a giant one. So I'm gonna go my one of my containers and I'm gonna go get some. And I'm gonna plan for some of them, you know, to use during math and measuring and stuff, but plan some of them to be used for building words, C A T um I'm sorry. <laughs> C D C words or blend words, you know, writing it with a piece of piece of the um piece of piece. Uh, dry, dry wet erase, I mean wet erase marker or Sharpie of course because you can always wipe it off with another dry erase marker and stuff. Um, we use pom poms, straws, I have that stuff, um, pipe cleaners, I have um, clothespins that we can use, clip cards, and of course we have the write the, word, um, write the room activities. So we can have that. I'm gonna use a lot of dry erase um, pockets because um, I don't have dry erase 
boards at all. So, um, yeah. I got a little bummed when I started cleaning, and I think maybe that's why I've been trying to avoid cleaning. <laughs> but I'm excited, and I've started cleaning, and I'm okay. I'm good. Um, I wouldn't want this for a first year teacher ever. The first year teachers don't deserve this. Um, but yeah, peace. And I hope all of you have a wonderful year. And I hope all the first year teachers have a wonderful year. And I guess, thank you. Um, please like, subscribe. Um, follow me uh, click the notification if you want to know more I do put um, posts and polls and and the polls uh, I did put a poll about the birthday cups and yep I'm gonna put them up there because once we start taking like one or two off or like you know ten of them half of them are gone it's not gonna look so cute up there and it's a surprise and some kids might forget you know just oh yeah you know oh it's my birthday I get a cup you know so yeah, I'm gonna put them inside. That's a good spot because I'm not. I am not a bear. I can't. I'm not tall. I'm five one. So, me reaching is not gonna happen. Okay, I I'm gonna leave y'all. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna. Oh, I might work on prepping some materials and getting my first first week ready first month ready but um it is ready already I um that's ready and uh my centers with lucky little learners is ready I got two feet for addition and subtraction ready um I'm just waiting to start planning with my team which is a wonderful team I love my team they are all unique and wonderful and I'm excited to start the year. I'm not ready because I haven't done any of the bulletin boards. <laughs> I've been slacking. I know. I'm sorry if that that's a bad um, what's it called? Um, bad uh, image or bad um, example for first year teachers. Um, I do start in August seventh, and August third is my meet the teacher night. So I do still have this week that's coming. And so I'll get that done. I've been really trying to determine where where I really want everything. So I'm thinking right here. I actually found this off a chart that I had in my materials. And it is humongous. And I'm thinking, what are you going to use this pocket chart for? It's so humongous. <laughs> Do you see it? It's like, I don't even know what size it is. I can measure, but it's like humongous. I'm going to put it right here. Um, this is going to be word play, word work, and writing. So I'll put a big bulletin board right here. Put this right here for the kids. I mean, there's a magnet here. So there's going to be letters. So I have this really cool idea right here. So hopefully it works out. <coughs> um, yeah. Um, Keep, keeping you informed so you go have fun enjoy the weekend i'm gonna enjoy the weekend <laughs> thank you bye okay guys adh brain look at it i finally did it i was focused and i did it <laughs> yes blush better than pep paper better than paper and look it's its name is blush okay now to decide on the border and staple it on there yeah <laughs>